Hey everyone, welcome to Soul Kids Online. My name is Alyssa. And my name is Andrew. And we're gonna have such a good morning together. We're gonna start off today by singing some songs together. Are you ready, Alyssa? You know it, Andrew. Let's sing. <laughs> today talks about how some church leaders met in Jerusalem to answer a tough question. Can a person be saved by faith in Jesus alone, or was something more needed? Let's watch this story together. Paul and Barnabas had been sharing the gospel with many people, including Gentiles. But some people in the church began to teach that the Gentiles could not be saved unless they followed some of the same rules the Jews followed. Paul and Barnabas disagreed, and the church leaders decided to meet in Jerusalem to talk about whether or not the Gentiles needed to obey the law of Moses. After a long discussion, Peter stood up and said to the group, Brothers, God chose me to tell the good news to the Gentiles. They heard the good news and they believed. God accepted them and gave them the Holy Spirit, just as he did for us. Why are you trying to make salvation harder for them? We know that we cannot obey God's laws perfectly. No, we believe that the Jews and Gentiles are saved in the same way, by the grace of the Lord Jesus. Everyone in the group was quiet as Paul and Barnabas told them about all the things God had done through them when they were with the Gentiles. Then another apostle, James, spoke up. He pointed out that the words of the prophets showed that God wanted to save both Jews and Gentiles. I think we should not cause trouble for the Gentiles who have trusted in Jesus. Instead, let's write them a letter telling them the things they should not do. So the church leaders wrote the letter to the Gentile believers. The letter also explained some things they should not do now that they were believers. The leaders chose Judas and Silas to go to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas to deliver the letter. The believers in Antioch were encouraged by the letter. Judas and Silas stayed with them for a while and then they went home. 
Paul and Barnabas stayed in Antioch and taught believers and told other people the good news about Jesus. The church leaders met in Jerusalem to answer a tough question. Can a person be saved by faith alone or was something more needed? The early church agreed that because of Jesus' death and resurrection, He alone is all we need to be saved. For our memory verse today, we're going to learn a verse Paul wrote to Titus a number of years after the story about the same topic. He, turned, he said to Titus in Titus chapter 3, verse 5, He saved us not because of the good things we had done, but because of His mercy. This means that God didn't save us because of anything good we did or didn't do. He saved us because he is merciful and came to sacrifice himself for us. This is exactly what those early church leaders realized in our story. They realized they didn't need to keep the law. Jesus had already done all the work. And it's the same for us today. Let's say the verse together. He saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. Good job, everyone. Time to add the actions. He, he saved us, us not, not because, because of the good, good things we had done, done but because, because of his mercy. mercy. Let's practice it again. He, he saved us, not because, because of the good things we had done, but because of his mercy. And again, just to make sure we've learned it. He, he saved us, not because, because of the good things we, we have done, done but because, because of, of his mercy. mercy. Great job, everybody. Before we go, let's take a few moments to pray together. I encourage you to repeat after me. Lord God, you are good and your plan is perfect. Lord God, you are good and your plan is perfect. Thank you for your word and for our salvation found in Jesus. Thank you for your word and our salvation found in Jesus. We love you, amen. We love you. Amen. Thank you for coming to learn some more about God with us today. Remember, there are extra activities on our website or on Soul Kids Instagram that you can do all throughout the next week. See you next week.